Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, now after some um, mishap this morning, with this afternoon, with sound and audio, and losing my place in my Bible, I think we are finally ready to begin again. Now for the second time on page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for today is Psalm 121, on page 779. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, our gospel today is Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 38. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of them, the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. So, on this very day, 150 years ago, a wonderful man named John Coleridge Patterson died because of the slave trade. John Patterson was the bishop of Melanesia. He became the, the bishop in um, the mid-1800s, was born in London in 1827, but heard, a, um, heard an, a passionate speech about the need for missionaries and for mission work to be done in the South Pacific, the need to preach and live the gospel. And John did that. Uh, he had a real gift with languages, and in his time there, he learned 23 of the languages spoken in the Polynesian and Melanesian islands of the South Pacific. So in 1861, he was consecrated Bishop of Melanesia, and he devoted his life to, um, to making sure that the slave trade, which was technically illegal in the South Pacific, was in effect stamped out. Um, really, during this time, though it was illegal, the slave trade was a really flourishing business. And, uh, and because of his efforts to, to really strike down on this and and be able to treat all with human dignity and John's devotion to preaching and living out the gospel. Well, uh, shortly after um, a, a group of slave traders had attacked the island of Nakapu in the Santa Cruz group, um, well, Patterson and a few of his men went to minister to those people. However, because of 
communications being what they were at this time and not being able to adequately send word ahead, the islanders saw a ship with a bunch of, um, of white Europeans approaching, assumed they were also part of the slave trade and retaliated. And so John lost his life that day along with his companions um, this day 150 years ago and his death their death made the um, all of the the people in in England so enraged that they committed themselves to continuing in what John had begun or had had tried to continue himself, which is eradicating the slave trade and taking firm measures to stamp out slavery in those Pacific territories, especially. And, um, and it was also, his death was also part of the seed of what is a strong and vigorous church in Melanesia today. The life and actions of men and women who live their lives devo devoted to preaching and living out the gospel, which, which really is about human dignity, loving one another. Well, it is, it is truly amazing what can happen when, when you devote your life to that work, what other people see and hear and experience because of what John has done, what so many of you do. Uh, so I wanted to make sure to share John's life and story with you today. Now, let's continue with our prayers. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite you to join with me in prayer and thanksgiving, especially for those on our parish prayer list, and also for any you wish to name silently aloud or by typing into Facebook. We pray for Peter, Dick, Bruce, Carl, Lee, Rose, Jean, Rainey and John, Howard, Frank, Kelly, Gabe, and Gio, Alan and Carol, Julius, Martha, Bill, Shannon, Daniel, Emily and Kim, Meredith, Pam, Ruth Ann, Caitlin, Lita, Pat, Carolyn and James, Dottie, George, Emerson and his family, Betty, Steve, Sabrina, Rick and Robert, Brian, Fred, Nancy, Becca, Joe, Elaine, Madison, Anna, Catherine, Tammy, Katie, and her family. We pray for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision for this world and for peace in our nation and the world. We pray for deployed people everywhere, for medical and emergency personnel, and for scientists working on solutions for COVID-19 and the distribution of vaccines. And we give thanks today for some birthdays, some birthdays from yesterday and also from today. Yesterday, we wish a happy birthday to Leanne Kwiatkowski and Anne Weiss. And today we say happy birthday to Cole Iadar. Happiest of birthdays to the three of you and happy anniversary today as well to Carl and Julie Sturzing and to Catherine and Nick Ferrandino. 
happy birthday, happy anniversary. May God continue to bless you and grace you with love, life, and beauty this day and forevermore. And now, remember, we have entered into our new noonday prayer or weekday schedule where we will have noonday prayers Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Thursday, we'll have an in-person healing Eucharist that we will keep to being about half an hour long, so it will be a shorter service with healing prayer. And um, nothing happening on Tuesdays right now. We've done this so that Bob and I can both be with you as often as possible throughout the week and also meet the needs of some of our community who are really longing for that Thursday morning service. So Thursday at 10 a.m., uh, we, will, we will meet for, um, for worship and healing prayer. Join us if you'd like. Uh, otherwise, keep, keep listening in and praying along with us on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for Noonday Prayer. Okay, I think that's what I've got for today. So let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. See you Wednesday.